I'll pick this up someplace at another time. I really, uh, really didn't feel like too much right there, just tripping a little bit with you and thinking about you, thinking about putting out positive energies towards your spiritual existence, if there is such a thing as your spiritual existence. If you fly in your mind's eye and forever is wise, is the sun burning? Uh, I don't know yet. Whatever one might consider to be what everyone might want to calculate in their own existence, but in the simple-minded thoughts of a sad sack of shit called Charlie Manson, there has been the burning of your own truth honor that you preach to me and say that you are for or against. Being for or against something could roller skate within one's own survival instinct until the purpose of life seems to be lost in some bum fuddle freak out with a bunch of kids on the side of a mountain when they heard the sound of Christ dying on the cross. And they became aware of the Christ consciousness that has been kept there under the grounds. But then I, upon my petty selfish trip, am also a king. In my stables rides many fine dreams. greatest dream of all was my Dee 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 Down Down freckle-faced little flea from Angela Mama type stereo dragon I loved you in your But only in your image did I fly through your perfections. I had to see you made your house fairly well. But it seems someone sold your furniture. This is Charles Manson. I send you these tapes in hopes that you may be able to get some benefit from them. And the course of you completing your dreams. It is my sincere wish divine hope that there is some place in your heart that you can feel the spirit of the Father that gave his all for his children and I thought about you like I held your image in my mind but I knew you were a programmed robot on another level with a thousand jillion considerations not quite your own but the possibility of those considerations being valid in the total essence the history book scratches out the same problems again the same circles but with less resource to deal not be stuck in your ignorance I've got enough of my own
I will not pretend to wait for you to grow up again. In the resurrection of perfection that has went down in the past before, it's the children that carry the hopes and the vibrations that sneak past the door and in and around the night with the bugs bite and in and around the fears of the people left here to deal with their own confusion. So you take your time blind and when you fall so far behind you don't have anything left without the will to live then you'll wonder why and where the yellow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsi dent. That is if you've got any dent in the fender of an old truck that was loaded with parts of bodies going through the night breaking the cheat down of someone who misplaced the gold market Satan slave Venice California where I ride 50 on my bike So I hitchhike in the dark and I see a spark but then the thing we call a friend and say hey man it's gonna be better for all if you let me get on down this fucking hallway and quit playing this bullshit off because I really got nothing to do I want to walk around and shovel out the barn. I'm getting tired of playing with you. You can catch me on the radio. You can see me in a TV show. You can read a book or play like a crook and find yourself inside me or me inside yourself anyway. As soon as it gets there, it flows. Then you know, you know, if you want to stop cutting the children out of your life by telling them get off the phone don't do this you can't hear that hide this from them. hide that from them they got to find it sooner or later one way or another you did didn't you and you found it to be so goddamn miserable when it got to you because someone had hid it from you that's why you got in the mess that you're in because someone hid the truth As long as you do the same, and you're stuck in that frame. I wished you were here. I wished you were within the grasp of my hands. I would give you the magic that I have picked up over a period of years and years of experience and things that your mind don't even consider your minds don't even wonder about because you didn't realize it existed. You thought it was a comic book. Someone else play acted it, but who lived it? Who suffered it? Who died it? Uh, what else could I say to you except uh, you got to do what you got to do and bring yourself through to a brand new you where you can start making up your own mind about things. And until you get to the point where you can make your own mind up about things, then you're pretty much a victim to yourself. And as much as most people pass information on to them that they got from somebody else. If you don't give me what I got coming, the next time I send you out, you might be crawling, not running. That's on a crane, another brain. You never learned how to fly. A conduit who didn't have anything to feed on lost his ability to follow his mother. Got to pecking around in another world and found another way to live. Beyond what his mother has told his mother has told his mother has told his mother all the way down through time survival from uh, the cave, man. 
Yeah, I've been away from you for a long time, and I've went a long way, and I've done a lot of things. I've seen a lot of people, experienced universes and minds beyond Ohio, beyond West Virginia, Kentucky, and all that sort of uh, poor people trash. I'm a hillbilly boy, ignorant ass, stupid, but I've transcended their universes and come back through another dream from space trips and landed ships down by the river. See, you held to your mother and your mother held to you and she made you into the village idiot. She sent you through the schools and you learned all the rules, but those rules now you have to learn or aren't, they're not really anything but a bunch of paperwork that was left over from somebody that died trying to prove some silly little thing that really didn't matter anyway in the ultimate end of the sheep gets sheared. All the ignorance that we have will fade and die in its own way. Open up the dope vows and let the people take all the dope they want. Let them dope themselves on out till there's nothing left of it. Let the people do what they want to do. Take the rules and regulations off of it. And then what you have left is the people that want to live. The people that want to die, let them go. People that want to destroy themselves, let them, let them go ahead and destroy themselves. You're holding on to their lives as if their lives is your lives. You fail to draw the line in your own mind of where your life is. You've got off into where your hate has pulled you off until you need your enemy to hold you up. You need fear and hate and deceit and lies and confusion to deal with or other you have nothing else to do. You have no peace. If you have peace, you don't have any enemies. You don't you, you nullify them, you zap them with your rays and you put your force fields up and you push them away from you. Leave them alone, fail to realize they exist and they'll wither and die on the vine because they're the ones that need the fear and the hate to hold themselves up, step out of that circle, become brand new and start all over. That mentally retarded woman that raised you is smarter than uh, uh, she was when she raised you. And I don't believe she's mentally retarded, I believe she's your father. I believe your father was your mother. And if you got up on the railroad track and got out there up on the road and learned your own life, then when you got to the end of it, you'd have found yourself in Spain somewhere, trying to follow the line of the moons and the moors that were defeated long ago. Those thoughts are gone. Those thoughts were set. Abraham, Isaac, and all those people, they're not from Scotland. They're not from Germany. They're from somewhere else, man. They got nothing to do with you. Your, your, your cave is your cave. So, I send this tape on. It's just a bunch of junk and a bunch of garbage, but it's just something to say hi. It's something to say that you've wasted a lot of time, man. And it's your time you've wasted. And you can say that to the rest of them people with them big fat guts that run around talking about the, uh, the father. They watch the father die in the jailhouse every day and it doesn't matter to them. They pile their enemies on top of their friend. And then when their friend dies, then they go around and try again. Now they can't kill this door, they can't shut this motherfucking door. Now what you gonna do, tramp? You're gonna get up on the motherfucking road sooner or later, that's what you're gonna do. If you don't get up on the goddamn road with it, there ain't going to be nothing left of you. Now, little girl's world, you've already lost. Your mother lost that because you were mother's little girl. And all that play act, football, big he-man, tough guy bullshit ain't got nothing to do with reality. The meek will inherit the earth. The kind will survive. Real concern will show through and honesty you cannot beat. 
so move on in that dishonest madness. I already got out of Ohio. I ran off from West Virginia. I got out of all that. Nobody liked me. Nobody wanted me, which was okay with me. I reflect that. My mother is the planet Earth. Ohio's Japanese word. And I got a Mickey Mouse watch from the Emperor of Japan on that one. And the Samurai Brotherhood. And the brotherhood of all brotherhoods that ever was a brotherhood. And the real deal of the one that is God. And not in those silly little churches that you people play that 10% to beat somebody out of their tax dollars at a 700 club where the witch paints her face. Gives her daughter's ass the garbage can out the back door and then talks about how much she loves Jesus out the front door for another dollar and a quarter. In the world I live in, if I want the money, I just take it. My money anyway. I invented it. Came from my mind. See? It's all the mind. The mind is all. All is the mind. And you can't get hooked up with the mind until you get hooked up with the truth. And you can't get in the truth until you establish what is in the know. And being in the know is being in the truth. And if you're not in the truth and you're not in the know, then how in the hell are you going to write somebody in a book or a paper and tell them something other than what you've been educated to program your fucking brain to, man? You want to see me look in the mirror, Tramp? But mine saw that confusion you got in your mind. Where's your beard at? Where's your beard, man? You got your face shaved like a little girl. There's nothing wrong with little girls. I love little girls. But there ain't no sense of little girls walking around and growing up what's supposed to be men. Jesus. Remember our father? Did you forget about him, bitch? Did you think that you could get away with being daddy too? You want to strap a dill pickle on and, and be father? What the hell ever father is, he would beat his love for his children, wouldn't he? How can he love his children when you won't let him grow up over five years old? You keep him sitting on the porch. You won't let him out of the yard. You're afraid he's going to hurt himself. You got a thousand insecurities and a million rules, and you got rules on rules and regulations on regulations. Then you got all your slaves locked to the dollar bill, and you wonder if the South will ever rise in the Confederate money. And then when you have no mind, and you have no will, and you have no love, then what do you expect someone to come along and reflect help and concern to you when you have no help and concern? And then the TV becomes your God, and the radio becomes your your uh, uh, your source of uh, escape, and then you escape into the radios and you escape into the televisions, and <laughs> you fade away and die. So I don't know what else to tell you except I hope I can get this tape to you, and if I can, you could probably send me a tape back. But to send me a tape back, I would, if I was you, send it to Officer C.O. Horton at the Occupational Therapy Unit, Vacaville. Um, I don't see no way to ever get you up on the track of what I'm thinking because I'm already in Spain and Scotland and France and uh, around the world 15 times with this one. Probably the Ayatollah uh, Well, I'll let you think on that one. As you walk in forever and you're still here wake up inside you and then move where you're smart enough to move do 
as you're clever enough to and be yourself exactly what you are take away the hate take away the fear take away the frustrations then come back again and then you could achieve a lot more you probably lie every day of your fucking life but there's one person you don't lie to and that's yourself you can't lie to yourself and I'm more yourself than you realize. <laughs> and then by the time you catch up, then when will be that time when you catch up? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what you're going to get when you get home, buddy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you out there, who do you have to look out for you? <laughs> or do you think that you were left in the shade and didn't have to get out where the afraid has to deal with all the things that all you fucking people are scared of? Insanity because it laughs at you from behind your own eyes. Now from the verse here in the book, O oh Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thy ear in to my cry for my soul is full of troubles and my life dwelleth night unto the grave I am contented with them that go down into the pit I am as a man that hath no strength free among the dead like the stain that lie in the grave whom thou rememberest no more and they are cut off from thy hand thou hast laid me in the lowest pit in darkness in the deeps the wrath liveth hath on me and thou hath affected me with all thy ways thou hast put mine iniquities far from me and thou hast made me abomination unto thee I am shut up and I cannot come forth it's what the book says I hope I can get this to you it's just passing the morning a little bit with you there and tripping with you on the back stairways of the darkness in your own mind or the mind so I can look out for you to do the best you can do for you. So if that lines up with what I'm doing on four, then you can play five until I tell you to stop. But when I tell you to stop, then you will have to do so because you know you're only dealing with yourself so if 88 seems to be in your mind for some reason uh, can I fuck until uh, until then why don't you uh, why don't you uh, transfer me in red and blue into the same cell because our minds are hooked up anyway 
Hello? Call him Patty. Don't get fat, Patty. I know I told you. Keep down. Hello, Susie. You still got problems, I see. You always get stuck with the shit, don't you? You always pick up the pit. Now, one of these days, Leslie, one of these days you're going to grow up. When you grow up, you're going to surprise to find you're not there. It was only a reflection of Patty's love. Patty was only a reflection of Mary. And Mary was a reflection of and that was a reflection of, and this is a reflection of, maybe it's pitching pennies down by the corral where all you do is uh, shoe uh, Charlie's horses for light beer, or did you think you could make some more perfume or do another TV series uh, or make another dog food commercial with uh, put me in a tuna boat think about uh, things on a swing <clears throat> put your fucking neck in there yeah and you'll think about what you did to me buddy I'll bet you remember one thing I bet you'll be there for always and it'll chase you until you get your motherfucking shit right you know goddamn well you ain't been right every goddamn day you've been dealing with me now since 1969 little witch you think I didn't see you in behind the chapel up there in McNeil Island? I knew you were in there, teddy bear motherfucker. You're not playing games on nobody that ain't already went through that shit, dummy. So, you, you tell your mother you put your puppy in the microwave oven. Eat some more flesh and blood with your teeth. Earth beast. So is there anything else I could think of saying to you? I could think of saying all the bad things to you. As you always hide behind people hiding behind the people that's hiding. And then you find yourself hiding in a circle and everybody's hiding. And you say, what you all hiding from? They're hiding from themselves. They're hiding from what they think of themselves. They're hiding from the truth. They're hiding from you, sneak. Snake, slimy, motherfucking animal. Be yourself. Be yourself. Quit acting that good guy shit with me. Get what I'm saying? You might want to be a good guy with me because you know I'll bust your motherfucking jaw if you don't. You haven't heard some of the things that goes on. Yeah, you don't know about them places. And there's secrets and inner sanctions that you'll never conquer. Never in your wildest imagination will you ever be able to conquer those chambers unless, unless you get some help from a power greater than yours. And you know who that is. That's the little brown jug. I go the... I know I'm supposed to be stimulated to make this tape, but I'm having trouble functioning in my brain. So I will take another day and make another side and another time. Stand in the corner. I'm over here in your mind. Did you listen to that? Yeah, I listened to it. What do you think of it? I don't know what to think of it. <laughs>